in the heart of, a dense jungle, there lived a, mighty tiger named Leo, who was known as the, king of all the animals, Leo was strong and powerful, proud of his strength, over time, he had grown arrogant, believing that, nothing and no one, could ever challenge him, one hot afternoon, Leo decided to take, a nap near a cool pond, the gentle breeze rustled, the leaves as the tiger, stretched out comfortably, under the shade of a large tree, his deep snores, filling the air as he, drifted off to sleep, this bond was, home to a group, of dragonflies, and their peace, was disturbed, by Leo's, loud snoozing, one dragonfly, named Zippy, was woken, up by the tiger's, thunderous snores, annoyed by the disturbance, Zippy buzzed angrily, thinking about how, he could quiet this, arrogant tiger, he may be the king, of the jungle, but he needs to learn, some manners, Zippy thought, determined to teach, Leo a lesson, Zippy flew closer, and started buzzing loudly, hoping to irritate the tiger, sure enough, Leo stirred and opened, his eyes in annoyance, as the buzzing, sound reached his ear, who dares to, wake me, Leo growled, Zippy, undeterred by the tiger's, menacing tone, buzzed even louder, it's me, you may be, the king of the jungle, jungle, but that doesn't give, you the right to disturb, our peace, I will teach you, a lesson, Zippy declared, hearing this, Leo roared with laughter, you, a tiny dragonfly, teach me a lesson, how absurd, I could crush you, with a single swipe of, my paw, but Zippy was, not afraid, we'll see, about that, Zippy replied, with that, Zippy bravely landed, on Leo's nose and gave, him a sharp bite, the tiger roared in pain, swatting at his face, but Zippy was too quick, now Zippy, bit Leo on, his tail, causing the tiger, to swipe wildly with, his massive paws, the more Leo tried, to catch Zippy, the more he, ended up scratching himself, realizing he needed help, Zippy called out to his friends, come, friends, let's show this, tiger our strength, he cried, hearing the call, the other dragonflies, at the pond woke, up and quickly joined him, they all swarmed, around Leo, biting him from every direction, the once mighty tiger, now completely overwhelmed, let out cries of, frustration and pain, finally, unable to bear it any longer, Leo gave up, he turned tail and ran, away into the jungle, desperate to escape the stinging bites, satisfied with their victory, the dragonflies stopped, chasing Leo and flew back, to their pond, celebrating, with excitement, all of them returned home, except for Zippy, who had started it all, feeling proud of his success, Zippy couldn't resist the temptation to boast, did you see how we made that tiger run? But Zippy wasn't paying attention to where he was going, as he buzzed around, he flew straight into a large spider's web that was stretched between the branches of a tree. Zippy struggled, trying to free himself, but it was too late, the sticky strands of the web held him fast. A spider sitting nearby started laughing, well, well, what do we have here, a proud little dragonfly who flew too far from home, the spider said with a grin, with no way to escape. Zippy realized too late that his arrogance had led him into danger. The spider swiftly wrapped Zippy in its web and devoured him, ending his story in a single bite. So, kids, sometimes the smallest can humble the mighty. But do you know why Zippy's victory over the tiger was short-lived? It's because he let his pride blind him to the dangers around him. This story teaches us to stay humble in all circumstances.